you know what we're playing just from that music well rhythm and actually it's a funny rhythm because uh, well I thought two things as soon as I heard this uh, iconic very recognizable uh, sequence of notes bass notes the first one is why are only human beings affected by such rhythmic music or tones the cats are not reacting to this in any way they're not swinging their tail in time to the music but just this alone you know it's almost like um, an intro to an actual commercial song it's really stupid but anyway and then uh, <laughs> And I thought, well, how would you dance to something like this? You'd have to be a bit of a zombie. And then I thought... And I just inserted the clip, and I'm not going to tell you what it is. Let's hope I don't fucking forget what I'm thinking of. Let's go. fiendishly difficult game and there's horrible black bars on the screen what the hell's going on ah oh, what bastard hang on a minute yeah there we go let's go mark two yeah you know there's going to be a lot of swearing on this one. Uh, interspersed with uh, comments about how good the music is. It's very nice actually. This is a very simple reaction game. Simple in design, not in uh, the execution of your brain. Especially not when you've got the eyes of a 90 year old like me. Anyway, we're using a Trinitron, so I'm doing my best, mate. But uh, yeah, those uh, arrows need to be wildly uh, different altitudes, heights on the screen, whatever you want to call it. They are just not different enough. Not until it's too late that I can actually work out whether they're uh, gonna stab me in the leg or the head. And I fucking done it. I don't fucking be Oh man, I had all the insults and everything. Do you know how many attempts I made? I decided to give up for a bit, go and check out my free uh, Spectra video uh, computers. Yeah, anyway, the stairs, run up the stairs of the temple while stone blocks are rolled down at you. Push left and right on the stick to move. So just left and right now. This was glitchy on uh, real hardware, so it's nothing to do with the SX64. Very glitchy though, isn't it? Ah, the corruption you get on the uh, status panel on uh, Beachhead was actually because it had a, an SX64 ROM. Uh, so I tried exactly the same copy of the game on a different SX64, the one that has a regular C64 uh, basic ROM in there. And that didn't glitch up, so there is something going on there. Ah, Jesus Christ. It's going to be like that now, isn't it? It's really glitchy. Oh, Jesus, come on. I'm, just, I'm looking at the glitches. It's like your brain is instinctively thinking. Uh, do, that, that they signify something, but they don't. They've got absolutely fuck all to do with where the blocks are uh, coming from. So, very early game on the C64. Yeah, really. Oh, Jesus Christ. 
good thing I'm on a diet mm. to fit otherwise. But I'm not on the uh, nicotine and uh, caffeine diet anymore. Because uh, there's no more smoking. And I'm only stocked up on decaf coffee because that's uh, fiendishly hard to find. Because I only drink one particular decaf coffee. And uh, it's pretty good value. It's uh, Kenko, if you must know. There are alternatives. Graphics are terrible, actually. Really fucking weird. However, I do remember uh, there's a woman on the uh, cover art, and she is actually pretty stunning, I must say. And I'm not even talking about her tits. Enter the temple, not the woman on the cover, through a series of rooms, holding the sheet. I don't know where that comes from. I'll stick left to stop, right to jump. That's a bit of a weird, why not fire to jump? So, uh, enter the temple through a series of rooms protected by various, so I'll stick left to stop, right to jump. Okay. Motherfucker. It's a memory game. They're not the same anymore. Hang on, can they hit you? Oh, one went through me while I was jumping. Jesus Christ. Oh, it's a real cunt. You have to remember that the blue one. Why am I pressing the fire button? The temple enters the temple. All oh, right. So hang on, you can't play the first level again. Not that I want to play the first and second level again. Mm, this is quite interesting actually. Oh, fire does actually uh, make you jump, look. Ah, Jesus Christ. It's a bit of a weird game. And uh, when you're loading this, it does mention it's based on a game written by someone else. Now, I thought blue indicated there's a hole in the floor. Oh, man. See, what's missing from this is the ability to run faster. Why did I die in the doorway there? He probably killed himself, innit, he? out of frustration. Oof. Speaking of which, I could do the fucking roll up while I'm playing this. How far can you get just by not touching the controls at all? Did I die straight away? Is there a time limit? What the fuck is going on with that shit? game than I've been uh, seeing for the last half hour. Mm. Pass through the dark heart of the temple, avoiding the friendly fauna of Mexico. Push up for high jumps, back for low. So up for high, back for low. Okay. Why 
Why would you need a different fucking jump height? And you can't move. Very basic game. Oh, there's a uh, obviously. Uh, if you do a low jump, you'll be back on the ground sooner. So, ah. Uh, rubbish version of a uh, Moon Patrol gameplay, I suppose. He's quite rubbish actually, graphically. The sprites are alright. It's everything else that shit. The backgrounds are all shit. But I can't really say it's completely unplayable. <laughs> oh man! I was going to say it's completely frustrating. What if you just keep jumping like this then? Will this work? Get the Rob Tech game killer man. Now I'm looking at the backgrounds and they're kind of going a bit weird actually. That'd be a bit stupid wouldn't it if you could just get through the level doing this. Fucking hell. Almost, fuck me. There probably wasn't that many more uh, things to avoid. I'm just gonna write, where's the duct tape? <laughs> it does feel like a 1983 C64 game. And not a spectacular one either. Um, but, for some strange reason, uh, I'm not doing as badly as I think. Mm. I do actually have Forbidden Forest on one of these discs, but I'm trying not to load different discs because uh, they just cover the heads in uh, crap and then nothing loads. Uh, it's a real pain in the arse getting one to load again. And a bit of a dark art as well I think, yeah. Uh, maybe some of the things are friendly and some of them are not, I don't know. That thing on the floor looks like the uh, thing that the uh, coronavirus uh, uh, mutated from uh, crap. It is literally like Moon Patrol. You know, where you got to jump over the holes and shoot the rocks and... Oof, it's really annoying actually. Because I don't actually like Moon Patrol. I do actually have an original copy of this. Ah, uh, crap, you can actually get you there. Yeah, we'll give it one more go. I like the way he's flying through the air. Why doesn't he just carry on flying through the air? Who knows, sir? And his hair has actually turned yellow in, on this stage. Have the animals been pissing on him? Oh man, I'm getting worse. I think it's a the background is doing my eyes in this really ooh. it's like them stupid uh, bubble shaped uh, numbers uh, in the uh, picture for your eye test who remembers them however they look really weird when they're scrolling what the hell is going on Well, if you do these really small jumps like this, can you avoid everything like that? No. Even worse, Mad Commodore. There's a weird tearing effect going on when I'm looking at the... Uh, looking at the sprites and not the background. Although there's a tearing... Hang on, maybe the yellow ones are the ones you can actually uh, touch. No, you can't touch anything. I thought he said some of them are friendly. I would have thought all giant spiders are uh, bad news for you. 
Ah, giant spider invasion. I still remember watching uh, uh, something with Fred Harris. I think it was me and my micro. Uh, where he's uh, telling you how to write your own game, like uh, Blitz Bomber or whatever. Uh, and then uh, after that, watching uh, Giant Spider Invasion. Now, I did actually write a Blitz game uh, for my uh, C64 after watching that thing there. Yeah, pretty rubbish. Didn't do any user defined graphics or anything. Uh, but what you've got to remember is, apart from the fact that the uh, cats just opened the curtain and a huge amount of lumens just fucking blinding me, was uh, that program didn't tell you how to do fuck all on the Commodore 64. Which is weird, because the C64 was absolutely sold out everywhere when that was on TV. Right, which one are you? Ah, uh, you're Devon. Comically named Little Devon, even though you're fucking huge, isn't he? You're bored, aren't you, mate? The exit from the temple is covered with booby trap tiles. Jump forward, back, or sideways to find. This is like that game. Was it Grid Trap? I fucking played that recently and I hated that too. Jump forward, back, or sideways. How am I supposed to find a safe path in it. So this is literally trial and error. Why would you do any other direction? So that's safe. Motherfucker, I've done it. Swim the lake in any direction and dive with a fire button for a second to avoid the man-eating fish. Why are they called piranha? The level's called piranha, so why doesn't it say piranha? But keep going forward. Hmm, okay, swim the lake in any direction. All oh, right. I know this one. All oh, right, here. Yeah. You can barely notice when you're supposed to be diving. Oh, like that. That sort of thought. Atari VCS swim forward bullshit. Okay, why did they suddenly um, just fucking zoom in on me? That's just bullshit, that is. I don't get that. It's an inconsistent game. I don't understand why that happened before. It doesn't seem to be happening again. It's only one tune, it is one great tune, I'll give it that. Uh, obviously, Paul Norman also did the music for Forbidden Forest, as well as all the coding. I'm not sure why everyone goes on about some programmers and not others. You sometimes feel like there's no collision detection, but obviously there is, because I've, I've failed many missions. I don't understand why that happened. You have to quickly press the fire button when that happens. It's a bit of shit. Can I go sideways? No. So that is swimming forward. That really doesn't Right, I have to test something out now. The water effect is really horrible. I don't 
understand. Because there isn't one touching me, I don't think, when that happens. So this is annoying now. So now the swearing can begin, motherfucker. There, what the fuck is that got to do with anything? Because I can't even move when that happens. He just stops dead. Is he man from Atlantis and you have to fucking go underwater regularly? What's going on there? There you go, mate. Bit of underwater action for you there. Okay, right. Up to that point, it was just an average, overly difficult, simplistic game. Now it's just a fucking cunt. I don't understand what the fish are doing. Really, I really don't get why that happens. Because it doesn't always happen at the same place either. See that I understand because one touched me, stunned me and uh, there's something weird going on with this. Oh someone's testing out the rev limit in first gear. Right, I think you've seen enough, I've certainly played enough but uh, you know what, that wasn't as horrible as I thought it'd be, I really, really didn't look forward to it but you know what, it's not bad. I can't remember when this came out now because it's not on the title page. But I will show you. Uh, there was a, a weird thing. Why is the camera moved? Who moved the bloody camera in it? Yes, I've swapped the keyboards over. I had enough with uh, hammering the keys. Sledgehammer stop. Still can't type for shit though. Wouldn't it be funny if it didn't uh, work? No, not run. It's too early for that. Uh, yes, that's the one. Small block. Chevy small block. There we go. There it is, it says uh, based on a game by Robert T. Bonifacio. Fascio. Okay, well I like to take out line 38 for obvious reasons. Because it takes so long to load, I don't, I don't see why you would need need any more um, of a delay game in there but yeah I want I want to know what this game by Robert T Bonifacio is because Paul Norman I'm sure he done the version for the Atari as well hmm unusual you're gonna have to check that out but as for Aztec Challenge hmm well, I could load it, I suppose, and you could get to see, like, if there's... But I think that's actually the last uh, level. So that's not bad for me. You know, when you've played, when you've actually bought games like Annihilator from Mogul with your own fucking pocket money as a kid, um, you get to appreciate what really is a shit 1983 or 84 game. I had BMX Racers as well, which I thought was shit. I had Rattler, which was shit. Uh, Squirm, which was shit. It's quite a stylish game, you have to give it that. That's not very good. Computer's not very good at this. Computer says, no, I can't do it. I can't fucking do it. 
So it does show you all the levels. And I don't think there's anything after the uh, piranhas. No, oh, actually there is. There's a rope bridge. Where he's running across a, a rope bridge with uh, holes. There's like bits of wood missing on the bottom. Obviously built by millennials. Yeah, his hair is yellow there, that's weird. And his white hair now. That's really weird. What if the computer does it? Does it crash? We were really lucky to actually do that level. But I suppose it doesn't send you back to the first level, so... Not a fan of that level. There you go, there's this bit as well. So not really missing anything. Yeah, so we got to the penultimate level. So yeah, I think uh, I think we've seen enough now. Uh, is it any good? I suppose for the time it's not bad. I'm sure it said 1983 there. It's all right, you know. You'd probably get bored of it quite quickly and not play it probably ever again once you've had a few more games. But uh, at the end of the day, when this come out, there were very few games like Beachhead, which is uh, obviously another £10 game from the same year. So, yeah, I'll, I'll go with, um, it's no Beachhead, it's a bitch of a game. 